I'm just at the age when I can remember when flying was fun and easy. And now, thanks to new technology and systems, it's simple again, and more people are flying now than ever. What makes it easy? This morning, the airline let me know there'd be a change in my flight schedule. Exactly when to leave for the airport, and... It's raining in Chicago. ...the weather and my destination. For a while there, flying had become stressful. You wouldn't believe what we went through. All those bare feet going through security? <laughs> it wasn't pretty. Today, it's like something out of Hollywood. No more lines or bins. Just a high-tech hallway that checks for threats using non-invasive technology, like detection systems and biometric credentialing. So everyone, not just ticket holders, can walk all the way to the gate like they used to. Frankly, I think life is easier for everyone who works here. As an airline dispatcher, my main objective is on-time performance. Because as we all know, just one late flight can have a domino effect. Instead of the old highways in the sky where you had to fly south of New York to get to Chicago, I can send a plane from here to here, like that. And if weather is a problem, instead of sending every plane in the sky down through Cincinnati, integrated weather data helps me plan routes that skirt the edges or go through safe areas of larger weather fronts. I build a digital flight plan and send it off over to the air traffic manager. Flight 554, looks like we have you on course for Chicago, arriving at 1640. Roger that. And with today's systems, if any conditions change, we know it in time to react, saving time, fuel, and money. Speaking of that, Flight 554, looks like the weather's breaking up over Cleveland, just in time. I'm sending you a new route up and around the weather. Could save you half an hour, maybe more. Fantastic. And with today's 4D systems, we get a new level of information. Now, instead of 20 minutes from now. With today's air traffic management, I don't have to fly way around the weather with hundreds of other planes like I used to. And once we redirect the flight, Satellite navigation systems will confirm we're on the new course. Makes my job a lot easier. And when it comes to landings... We don't have to stair step descents anymore. You know, drop down, wait, drop down, wait. That just burned up fuel and made a lot of noise and pollution for our airport neighbors. Today, tailored arrivals help planes descend smoothly, gradually. Sometimes they can even glide in on a tailwind. And all that means smoother flights, quieter landings, more affordable tickets, more on-time arrivals. The entire team gets the same information at the same time. So even when we're landing, the system calculates and shares our flight path with everyone. And at touchdown, I can rest easier. Because instead of just relying on our eyes searching for runway incursions, ground sensors alert me to them. When they say everyone knows what's happening, they mean everyone. Through information sharing, the airline already notified my family of my new arrival time and gate. Mommy! You're home early. Think this vision is that far away? The future is a lot closer than you think. That's because the capabilities we just described, capabilities that will transform the way the world flies, exist today. And these enabling technologies are being developed by our strategic partners and the men and women of Lockheed Martin. We're aggressively pursuing the research and development necessary to bring a new day to the nation's air transportation system. A new era where flying will be more efficient, more convenient, more predictable than ever before. With our long history of innovation and experience, who better to take America to the next generation of air transportation? Lockheed Martin. We never forget who we're working for. <laughs>